If that is the case, how would she know that he's out on bail? It's only done to tarnish my client's image. They, she had no relationship with him whatsoever. He was chasing her. But however, like my client had no relationship with her. Let me bring in my colleague Ananya Bhatnagar who's been tracking all these developments for us. Ananya, when the ED moves you from being a witness to an accused, two things are important. One, you knew as far as the extortion racket was concerned. And secondly, you become a recipient as far as the proceeds of crime are concerned. What is the response to those allegations as far as the legal team of Jacqueline Fernandez is concerned? Well, yes, sir. Ridhima, we had put in this question to uh, Mr. Prashant Patel, who's the advocate for, uh, uh, in fact, Jacqueline Fernandez. And he says that sin, uh, sin, we, he has to see the charge sheet first because remember that the cognizance on this charge sheet has not yet been taken. The processes have still to be yes, issued. And uh, whenever the court issues processes, which means that issues summons to Jacqueline Fernandez, a copy of which would be supplied to her advocates. And then only they can tell us because remember that uh, in the previous charge sheet, in the main charge sheet, which was filed against Sukesh Chandrasekhar and some others, and uh, the first supplementary chart sheet wherein more Bollywood actresses like uh, Bhumi Pednekar, Sara Ali Khan and others were also mentioned. In fact, a uh, role of Nora Fatai was also mentioned into the other two chart sheets also. So, uh, particularly Jacqueline has now been made then accused into this particular case. Uh, essentially, the first uh, Bollywood actress in the country to be named into a PMLA case, that too in a chart sheet. And uh, what is very, very crucial to note is that uh, the change in circumstance would definitely be upon the evidence that has been collected by the Enforcement Directorate. The major allegation as per our ED sources is that she has enjoyed the proceeds of crime and we've already seen it in the previous chart sheets how uh, various list of gifts have come out uh, wherein she had received uh, two cars, uh, one of which she had refused to take, other, others were like um, uh, very, very very expensive bags of Chanel and other luxury, uh, luxury brands which run into lakhs of rupees. Apart from that she had also received a horse, a Correct. very very costly horse. Uh, that was gifted to her by Sukesh Chandrasekhar and uh, we, we shall not forget the pictures that are there, the pictures of Jacqueline Fernandez and Sukesh Chandrasekhar, the statements wherein it is mentioned that they had a relationship True. and now the advocates are coming out and clearly saying that uh, they don't know uh, as to why uh, the, their client has been made and accused into this particular case. So uh, it is somehow they are de trying to defend their client True. and this is what their duty actually is. The advocates would uh, currently defend their client and after in fact, it would be very, very interesting to see as to what evidence has the ED produced to show that she has been a part and parcel to all of this nexus, wherein uh, Mrs. Sukesh Chandrasekhar, who was inside the jail very smartly, uh, using softwares, using the jail officials, had conned various people and uh, the, the particular case involving Aditi Singh, who is uh, um, uh, the Can wife I... of an owner of a very, very reputed pharmaceutical company to, to a tune of 200 crores, Can and I... the proceeds of crime were enjoyed by Jacqueline Fernandez and some others as well. So we'll have to wait and watch as to what happens hmm. next. But then definitely the advocates are trying to save their client. And uh, well, that, that is the job of the legal team as far as Jacqueline's team is concerned. But Ananya, quickly, uh, since you were saying cognizance hasn't been taken, I believe that has been listed for the 31st of this month. Well, yes, definitely. On August 31st, the court will decide the fate of Jacqueline Fernandez. It will. Uh, it is going on uh, with the charge sheet. It is going through the charge sheet, and after uh, when when the court comes back and sits on uh, August 31, it would uh, be hearing uh, the case and would be telling as to whether it would issue proceeds or whether uh, there is some some kind of a disparity in the ED charge sheet and there has to be something to be done into this particular case okay. or not. And now, what is very very crucial and to note is that uh, another application has been filed by Jacqueline. Fernandez for traveling abroad and the same would also be heard on August 31 though it was listed for hearing today but then the judge was on leave and hence it could not be heard so okay. on August 31 we have two aspects to be dealt with one is the charge sheet whether processes would True. be issued against Jacqueline Fernandez and summons uh, would be issued against her okay. and whether she or not she would be allowed to go uh, out of the jail or um, um, sorry to go, go abroad to travel or not into this particular case. Okay Ananya Pranama. thanks a lot for getting us all those details keep tracking those developments for us with that it's a wrap from my side Viewpoint with Zaka is up next.